inspect it, and then there's another person that grades it out. So the inspector is looking at the organs. Uh, they're looking at the animal pre-kill, during the slaughtering process, and after it's been slaughtered, checking the organs, checking you know for any parasites or whatever. If there's a problem, they pull it from the line, get it out of there. Um, and then there's a grader who's grading it out. This is a double A. I ask for grade A, B, or better. Sometimes we'll get a triple A, sometimes a single A. Uh, this just is the amount of fat, the kind of marbling we're seeing in the muscles, and uh, usually the weight. So, where's my, oh, here. So what we do is I, I always pre-trim all the stamps off. This is an edible food dye, but it doesn't look so nice when you're eating a steak and you see that looks like, like uh, you know, Jimi Hendrix or something like that. So we want to make sure we get that off. I saw, you know, I've seen a, a food go out in restaurants before where the chef or the cook uh, did not trim the inspection stamp off. They say the strip one that they, they were cleaned earlier. Uh, and the customer's not happy. You know what I mean? That's kind of silly. Exactly. So you got to remove that. So we got a front quarter. Uh, tomorrow, just stop for a sec. That's our second half. That's the hind quarter, so it's a little smaller. <laughs> so we'll do this one tomorrow. It's a little bit too much. I thought it fell on the floor there for a minute. I'm so glad it didn't. So what's going to happen is uh, when you're in this station, the, the classroom is broken into three different areas. Breakdown team on the wood table, and we are short of tables because they're over at the food show right now. The competition, they took six tables out of here. So tomorrow everything will be back to normal. So you got this area breakdown. You're going to do a front hind quarter of beef, side of veal, side of pork, and usually eight more coins on top of that. Uh, so you're pretty well set for the week. You have four assignments over five days. So you got that buffer day. If you finish everything on Thursday, we create projects on the Friday. Generally, you don't finish everything, so that's why we got the buffer day. And uh, then we have the group on the back wall. That's going to be our seafood and poultry team. It's our chicken every day. Everybody's going to do a salmon every day. We're going to get some rockfish in, some sole. Uh, usually I'll bring a halibut in for a demo. Uh, trout, lots of chicken, possibly some turkeys. Uh, anyway, so it's going to be uh, pretty intense. And then over here, though, well, the table's out there, but on this side of the class, they are going to be doing lamb. So the first job for the lamb team is go through all the leftovers, clear out all the leftovers. Then they come over. Monday you'll do a, a couple of shoulders, bone them out, time for roast, make stew, grind, whatever. Uh, you're going to be doing uh, legs, racks, loins, and then the whole carcass. Usually towards the end of the week I bring the whole carcass out for you. So you learn baby steps first and then you do the whole, the whole sucker. As well, you're doing all our menu fabrication for the whole college. So that's a very intense uh, station. I keep you really busy there. Um, we do have that six burner stove over there. We like to eat down here, right? Eat, babushka, eat. So we, we, we do quality control assurance testing quite often. You know, it's not like we're sitting down to a huge, but sometimes we like to make a spicy chicken wing or or I notice there's quite a, a diverse ethnic group in the class, so sometimes I ask students maybe to create something from their culture. And uh, I had a, a gentleman, he, he made a, uh, a traditional vegetarian curry, like two different kinds of curry, his own homemade yogurt, he made his own uh, roti, everything. And he brought it in for us and it was, it was exceptional. Jamaican guy? No, uh, Indian. Well, Jamaica, they have curry too. They have goat curry, they have jerk chicken and all that. 
No, and I've had uh, a Jamaican fellow uh, cook up some pig feet with some beans, and it was it was amazing. You know, lots of different variety of, of cultures. Or somebody that works in a restaurant that has, uh, uh, you know, that creates something at the restaurant, maybe want to reproduce that for us at the school here. So it's it's not just about raw meat here. Uh, is there a vegetarian in the class? Good. But if you were, you know, I had a vegetarian, really nice lady, amazing student, and she uh, she didn't eat meat. So I says, I will I will make something for you. So I made a, a little tortellini, a stuffed tortellini with some roasted uh, butternut squash and, and goat cheese and pine nuts. Mm -hmm. And I made a sage sauce for it. And we had a little, just a taste, right? And she was so happy that, that, I, that I made something for her non-meat. You know, I think it's important. You don't always have to eat meat, but it sure is good. Something like a nice thick steak once in a while. I was very vegetarian, but I didn't eat Were you? Yeah. Your parents still veggies? Yeah. Yeah. So you got to be very creative. And you're a meat lover now? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> I converted my brother-in-law. He was an eight-year vegetarian. And we went into a, a restaurant one night, and I had this uh, uh, braised pork belly. And they left the rind on, and it was just it was, it was so good. And I had a little piece of rind left, and the server came over and she tried to clear the plate. And I said, yeah, I'm done. And, and he said, wait a minute. And he just reached over and grabbed that pork rind and just <laughs> squirreled it back. It was, it was so funny. He's not a vegetarian anymore. <laughs> it was so funny. But he, he wasn't, you know, he was a vegetarian because of, uh, he's a bit of a farmer. And uh, he just looks at how much land cattle take. To, to uh, you know, the uh, methane gas that they produce, and environmentally, it's it, you can grow a lot more product in a in a five acre <coughs> area than you, you know one cow needs. So uh, you know, in that sense, I, I respect him for that. But it was it was really tough doing family dinners when he, he was the only guy eating beans and rice. I'm going to turn this over, so just move your thing back. So this is where uh, you know you got to be just totally ripped, buffed. Yeah, what, whatever. See, so just grab it by the arm. Please don't help me. See, just let me do it. All right? Thanks. Okay, so now we can see the bone structure. Not that I don't want help, it's just, it was awkward. It was one of those awkward moments in life. That's okay, Chef. Fine. <laughs> 